Kelly Kulik, and you're listening to Pavlina's Kids Place. Hey everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place, and I'm on locations at the Boys and Girls Club of America, the 107th uh, annual national convention with bowling champion Kelly Kulik. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I am doing wonderful, thank you. That's awesome, that's great. So starting out in bowling, when did you say, uh, wow, I would love to do this like forever, and you, you wanted to be your best at it? Believe it or not, I was in the fifth grade when I decided I was going to be a professional bowler, yeah, and I held true to that statement. Nice, that's great, that's awesome. So growing up, kids have all kinds of obstacles. What kind of obstacle did you have, and how did you come or deal with it? Uh, you know what, being a girl, I was a tomboy, mm -hmm. and I always had the name calling the boys, always, you know, yeah. saying tomboy and everything, and, you know, my words were hurt, but I always tried to empower myself to be a better person, yeah. and it led me to, to bigger and better things, and to this day, you know, I just kind of turned a blind eye to it and know that my bowling ball speaks for myself and my actions. Yeah, definitely, that's great. So in 2010, you became the first woman uh, to win the national title at, um, on the PBA tour. How has that changed bowling for you and uh, future women bowlers? Uh, winning the PBA title definitely put me in the spotlight more often. Yeah. It gave me a commercial with Breadstone, an opportunity to pose in ESPN magazine. And, and really, you know, I've had so many wonderful role models that affected me over the years. I just hope little girls will grow up knowing that they have every opportunity available to them, yeah. that there are no limitations regardless of your sex or gender, yeah. and that you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Exactly. That's awesome. So, um, what's the biggest myth, myth about bowling? Uh, people think bowlers just eat cheeseburgers and drink beer. It is not true. Oh, really? I, I work out five days a week at the gym. I practice three days a week on the lanes or more, plus tournaments and events over the weekends. But uh, that's probably the biggest myth that we're, we're not athletes and it's not a sport when really it is. Yeah, definitely. That's crazy. So, um, there's a camp that you used to go to and now you teach at it. So, what do you like most about teaching? The fact that um, as a youngster I went to a camp and, and people led me in the right direction, the fact that as an adult I can give back with the knowledge I've learned being on the lanes and from other coaches and, and ambassadors I've worked with, anytime I can give back to the kids from, from what my junior coach gave me, just feels like I'm passing it along to other people and they can do the same after me. Awesome, that's great. So what are your upcoming plans and events? I will be traveling to Columbia in July for the World Games for Team USA. From there, we'll be going to Las Vegas for the World Championships where the ladies are defending their title. And then I'll be traveling overseas to Thailand and Vienna to compete, finishing up the year in the World Series of Bowling in Las Vegas against the men again. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you very much.